Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video I've got five autographs Autographs through the mail, TTMs and I'm also going to show you some more in-game action between the Down East Wood Ducks and the Fayetteville Woodpeckers. As always, we will start with some TTMs. The first one is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have got Dave McKay. He signed 3 of 3 in 13 days. He had a career batting average of 229 with 21 home runs, 170 RBIs. He played eight years, appeared in 645 games. He played from 75 to 82, and he played with Minnesota, Toronto, and Oakland. He has been a coach since 1984. He is the current first base coach for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, he has won three World Series as a coach. He won one in 89 with Oakland. One in 06 with the Cardinals, and another one in 2011. And he is also in the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. As a longtime baseball man, Dave McKay. Been in the professional game since 1975. All right, our next return is from Parts Unknown. And we have got Jim Lindemann. He signed three of three in 16 days. He had a career batting average of 244 with 21 home runs, 89 RBIs. He played nine years, appeared in 351 games. He played from 86 to 94. And he played with St. Louis, Detroit, Philadelphia, Houston, and the Mets. Jim Lindemann. Now, I'll tell you, Jim Lindemann, I thought his numbers were a lot better than they are. I knew he played for a while. He played nine years, but I was very surprised to see that he didn't knock in 100 runs during his entire career. He only had 89 RBIs. And I also don't remember him playing for Detroit, Houston, or the Mets. All right, here we go. From St. Petersburg, Florida. And we have got... Ricky Reynolds, football return. He signed three of three in seven days. He played 10 years. He played from 87 to 96. And just like Tom Brady, he played with Tampa Bay and New England. He had 23 interceptions in his career. He had two pick sixes. He returned two fumbles for touchdowns. And he also returned a blocked field goal for a touchdown. Ricky Reynolds, I like that card right there. I think that one looks pretty sweet. And Ricky did answer a question that I sent him. I sent him, I said, are eyebrows also considered facial hair? And he said, I would say yes, they are on your face. That is from Ricky Reynolds. And we are going to pause this video, and I'm going to show you some in-game action. All right, and we are back. I hope you enjoyed that. Our next return comes to us from Orlando, Florida. 
And we have got John Castino. He signed three of three in 56 days. He had a career batting average of 278 with 41 home runs, 249 RBIs. He played six years, appeared in 666 games. He played from 79 to 84. He played his entire career with the Minnesota Twins. He was the 1979 American League Rookie of the Year. In that year, he hit five home runs, knocked in 52, and batted 285. Um, in 1981, he led the American he led the majors with uh, nine triples. His best year was in 1980, when he hit 13 home runs, knocked in 64, and batted 302. And he is rated as one of the 50 best Minnesota Twins to ever play. And his career was cut short due to chronic back pain. In his last season, he only had played in eight games. And I said he signed three out of three. He only signed two. <clears throat> All right, our last return comes to us from San Diego, California. And we have got Jesse Orozco. He signed two of two in nine days. He had a career record of 87 and 80 with a 3.16 ERA. And he also had 144 saves. He played 24 years. He appeared in a major league record for pitchers in 1,252 games. He played from 79 to 03. And he played with the Mets, LA, Cleveland, Milwaukee, Baltimore, St. Louis, San Diego, Yankees, and Minnesota. He was an all-star in 83 and 84. In 1983, he went 13 and seven with a 1.47 ERA, 17 saves. He also finished third in the Cy Young voting. He finished 17th in the MVP voting. Um, in 1984, he had 31 saves, which was a career best for him. And on the 86 Mets team, he went eight and six with a 2.33 ERA and 21 saves. And he won another World Series in 1988 as a member of the Los Angeles Dodgers. And again, that is Mr. Jesse Orozco. I believe he was. I believe he is only. He is one of only four players to have played in four different decades. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for watching. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.